Hey guys, what is up? The Wookie 91 here uh, with Flip Flop Oreo. Go ahead, guys. But, um, sorry for not making a video for a long time, but we've been really busy trying to work on some server stuff, had some issues with staff, uh, personal stuff as well. Uh, anyways, enough with excuses. We're back. We're working on some stuff. <laughs> and, anyways, I am here on the bucket server, which is run by Flip Flop here. Yes, it is. Um, I've put him in charge of running the Infamy PvP, I guess Infamy Factions PvP server, that's what we're going to go with. Um, but, anyways, you want to tell him about it? I mean, there's just some simple stuff right now, simple PvP factions, all that stuff that you would like in a bucket server. We're going to add some mini games soon, probably in the next day or two, as soon as I get one of my friends online. Yeah. Hopefully. Doing that. Um, anyways, right here we are in spawn, so if when you first join the server, you're always going to start right here. I'll leave the IP in the description for you, because I don't know it off the top of my head, unfortunately. <laughs> Even though I probably should. Anyways, we got some simple rules here. No cheating or hack clients. Do not sponsor servers. No PvP logging or TPing. No duplicating items. Don't even think that's possible, but don't do it. Uh, yeah, no yeah. exploits. Uh, don't ask for ranks. Don't swear too much. No gay bashing or racist, racism. You have to have fun, then no killing noobs, so you can't kill flip flop. Um, oh, that was a <laughs> Anyways, um, if you go up here, you'll see you're gonna warp shop. You'll see that we have a little simple shop set up here. Within a, it's a pretty decent exchange rate. Right? You get about a three fourths of the worth of the item you're selling. So essentially. You buy the item for one, become a sell for 0 0.75. That encourages people to actually keep the value of their items in their like actual item form rather than just throwing everything the money and then buying back whatever they need because that means it makes raids so much less fun because, I mean, if you can't really raid someone's money <laughs> necessarily. So um, it just doesn't make it as fun if there's no items involved. So this is encourages players to keep them in, in item form. Anyways, as you can see, you got some simple prices. You got the gold is the equivalent exchange one. Uh, so that means that for every gold ingot you sell, you can buy one gold ingot. Just because we figured gold's kind of useless, let's give it a use. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can buy millions here so you won't starve to death. You do start out with a starter kit, by the way. Probably should show you that. And don't punch holes in the ground either. Um, you get a half-broken bow, a few arrows, some torches, some noob armor, just so you're recognizable as a noob. And some food. That food should get you enough to get at least 500 blocks away from spawn. And that's with stopping to dig up some, well not dig up, cut down some trees and etc. Um, anyways, we got a few players on so far. Uh, you want to show them the PvP arena? Yeah, sure. Let's go. So when you type warp PvP, you come here to this little room. This is not the arena. <laughs> this would be... Yeah, that would be bad. There'd be no exit. Anyways, as you can see here, you see warp red, blue, yellow, and white. These are just the four little, not really corners, but what would you call them? Teams? No, nah, not really teams. They're just like, I don't know. They're just, there's different sides of each arena. There's like a, a circular arena. I'll show you. Just go to Warp Yellow. Anyway, it's a circular arena. Circular arena. You can see white over there, blue over there, red over there. It just de determines where you spawn. I mean, some people may like it more spawning on one side, and some people like it more spawning on the other. It's just completely up to you. We may make this into a team event eventually, but for now, it's just an open PvP arena to run around and kill your buddies or enemies. <laughs> or both. Anyways, to g actually get into the arena, you click right here. And boom, here you are. You can also just type for yellow PvP to bypass that whole process, but we kind of suggest you don't. Because you won't know what you're jumping into. <laughs> you may just drop into an arena loaded with diamond armor people, and that's not always fun. Anyways... All of this is in boundaries. For example, you are still in the arena up here. You can still fight. This is not like stands. Uh, we figured it'd make it cool for archers to attack people and try to keep them down. Nope, someone just died. It's an interesting name, really, don't you think? It is. It is. That uh, must have yeah, but a very early player. Anyways, there's only one exit to the arena currently, and I think I kind of like it that way. What do you think? I agree. Yeah, but anyways, you got to be careful when you're going to it, because if you come to it from an angle, you may fall through the gates, which I failed to demonstrate. I, I There we go. <laughs> um, so it's not really easy to, but I mean, if you run a jump at the wrong time, it can happen. Um, so 
you're going to exit this by just I suggest you run and jump into it that way you can get a good bit of a speed boost up and then you get to the top of the water and you click warp spawn to exit the arena uh, the best part is you cannot teleport out of the arena you just can't so you can't be just sitting there typing and someone to stand there stand there type real quick and then suddenly they're home like you can't do that so that way there's only one exit arena there's no wussing out if you go in the arena go in there knowing there's a good chance you're gonna die but there's also a good chance you might get some kills that's the best part about it so I think we've pretty much covered everything right I agree well there are a couple little things like uh, there's no enchantment table at spawn no nether portal nothing like that we kinda want we want to encourage people to do that on their own at their homes yeah. um there's also no let's see no inner chest either that's, that's, that's on you. We got a few donator ranks set up, actually. And we don't really have any permissions laid out on these yet, which is, come to think of it, probably would have been good to do beforehand. This is actually 5, no, it's 5, 10, 15. I don't know why these prices are wrong. Did you do these wrong? I don't know. What? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no. I thought it was Rush. Yeah, it was Rush. Anyways, we got a little trading room as well. As you can see, you come stand over here. So close the door. You can trade with your buddies. I was thinking about putting a piston through here to keep it to where you, like it holds the item down until you're satisfied that their the item they have in the thing is also right. But we haven't decided to do that. Whether or not we're gonna do that yet or not. Okay, what what's going on? Okay, there we go. Um, anyways, it just looks this looks pretty cool, I'd say. And this is where gonna, the mini games are gonna be. Obviously not ready yet. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I will be making more videos. Uh, no, it will not be three weeks before the next one like this one was. But anyways, thanks for watching once again. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll say bye. Bye, guys.